Hello everyone, Bishop Michael Hart here of the Ecumenical Order of Christ. Today I want to talk to you about accepting the uncomfortable truth. Now I am mainly talking to Americans here because quite frankly all Americans are the worst for this. You guys would rather bury your head in the sand than accept the truth. You'd rather accept a comfortable lie than admit that you're wrong. The worst of this is when we command you to leave Babylon, just as the Lord commanded us to leave Babylon 2,000 years ago and again in 2011. You have the worst time accepting this, and instead you tell yourself, a comfortable lie. You say, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm okay. I'll be fine. I'm a good person. I give to the needy. I give to the poor. I help out people. I don't say bad words. I don't have to leave. God loves me. He knows my heart. But he's testing your obedience. He's testing whether or not you will obey his command. He's not going to give you eternal life if you disobey him. Why would he? Why would he give you the gift to live forever if you are a disobedient child? If you cannot obey a simple command to Exodus from Babylon? This is a serious offense. You are risking your own salvation by remaining inside Babylon. Now I know I preach about this a lot, but this is serious. We are at the very end. There is no more time. There is none. Your test of your obedience is whether or not you will listen to him and you will leave. Because he rewards the obedient and he punishes the disobedient. You will not inherit eternal life if you are continuing in disobedience. If you continue to tell yourself, it's okay, I don't have to leave, I will be saved anyways because I believe in his name. Regardless if you believe in his name as Yeshua or Rael or Jesus, he's not going to reward you for disobedience. It's not okay to tell yourself comfortable lies, such as smoking. Think it's okay. It's not. Nothing that he has commanded you to stop doing is okay, no matter how many excuses you try to make. He will not accept them. He will not. No amount of excuses will be accepted on Judgment Day for your disobedience. So it's time to stop lying to yourself. Stop smoking, stop lying, stop living in disobedience, and come out of Babylon. You are doing yourself more harm by continuing to lie to yourself and tell yourself that it's okay and by accepting the truth that this is the end America is going to dis get destroyed you will probably be trapped there when everything goes down you are already seeing the border being tightened because of this caravan it's not a coincidence they will trap you inside the US you will not be able to escape Leave now. Leave now before it's too late because the end is coming. Many disasters are still coming your way. And His grace and His mercy will only extend so far. God's timing will be fulfilled whether you are there or not. You risk total destruction. You risk your life, your salvation. 
salvation of you, your family, your friends, everybody, by staying there. You cannot lead people to safety when you yourself are still in danger. You can only lead from the outside. I'm here in Babylon and Baja. I'm here outside the US and I'm leading you to safety time and time and time again. The Lord has proven that we are protected here for obeying him. He's protected us from so many things. So what are you waiting for? God bless you all in Lord Ryle's name. Amen.